Hi, I'm Darlene Schacht from TimeWarpWife.com and this is Danielle Krebs from DanielleKrebs.net. We just wanted to let you know about a brand new book that we just finished writing together and you can find it on Amazon. It's The Beauty of Jesus Revealed in the Feast and we also have a study guide and um, we're going to be having a whole web series on my blog. So if you want more information about that, I'll put it in the description. And there's also going to be video series that's going along with it too, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. We have seven videos because there are seven feasts in the book. So um, I wanted to ask you, because I haven't even asked you yet, mm. what was your favorite part about um, this book writing process? Well, I, I tell you, I love to learn, right? Yeah. And I don't think you're ever too old to learn. And, and uh, you know, I've learned so much just by writing this book with you. And it's just been a real privilege to to each week getting together and learning and, and studying and like, wow, I didn't know that either. You know, yeah. and uh, I've learned a lot of this stuff over the years. But there's, I find with God's word, there's, you're always learning something new. You can read the same scripture over and over again and learn something new from that same scripture you know yeah. so with the, with the feast of the lord there's so much detail there that you're like wow you, the, jesus is all over it you know yeah and it's just so exciting to watch that when we first it. started writing this book i kind of thought what did i get myself into because mm. there is so much it's just these feasts are so detailed they're mm. so exciting that you kind of wonder like where can a chapter possibly stop yeah. because as as I'm writing and as we're discussing things we're finding that there's more and there's more with this study of the books um, with the feasts we're going through um, Passover the feast of unleavened bread feast of first fruits feast of weeks feast of trumpets the day of atonement and the feast of tabernacles and some of the most exciting things that I have ever read are things that we've written in this book. Not that I'm trying to toot our own horn no. at all. And, and that I, I say with full sincerity. Mm. It's just that I found that this writing experience was life changing. Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, thank you God for letting me be a part of this yeah. process. Um, when I was writing part of the chapter for, um, um, Sukkot, you know, yeah. and um, it's probably one of my, I love that feast because it's it's a celebration of, it's a kind of a, mm -hmm. the completion of all the feasts, right? It's, it's basically fulfilled with the Lord reigning on the earth and eventually a new heaven and a new earth, right? Where we're yeah. reigning with the Lord. He's, he truly has become Emmanuel God with us. And as I'm writing it, I'm just r visualizing what's going to happen you know yeah, and so it just so it just exciting. inspires your faith they like wow lord i can't wait you know yeah. to to experience uh that that time on the earth with you lord you know a thousand years on the earth is a is a pretty long time you know yeah. and uh, we're going to have the new heaven and new earth and all that kind of stuff but we are going to reign with the lord and that particular chapter for me was just as i was working on that i was just like wow this is exciting i can't wait it's the end you know yeah yeah i think for me it was the the Afikomen mm. in, did I pronounce that right? Because yep. I'm really bad at pronouncing these, which I'm starting to learn to do. But in the, the first chapter, the Passover chapter, when mm -hmm. we read about how these 2,000 year old traditions mm -hmm. were celebrated by um, the practicing Jews, mm -hmm. that, that's what you call them, for so many years. And yet it's unmistakable how Jesus is revealed in these traditions. Right. Like, it's just so beautiful how mm -hmm. you see Jesus in this. And it's, it's just made it so real to me. And I think yeah. now I understand why I'm <clears throat> celebrating mm -hmm. when I go to church on Easter Sunday, you know, what is this all about? And mm -hmm. what is, I can understand it more because I'm learning more about the feasts Amen. Yeah. And, and any of the holidays I celebrate, I'm thinking, you know, Thanksgiving, for example, that just yeah. passed in Canada. Yeah. And I'm thinking, I can understand more about why I'm thankful, what I'm thankful for, well, because you, God is leading me when on you, this journey. When you fall in love with someone, you, and you get to know them more and more and more, yeah, you love them more, right? Mm -hmm. And I think a lot of Christians, they love Jesus, but it's kind of like, they're kind of 
they're kind of dating Jesus, if I can use that term. You know what I'm saying? They don't really, really immerse yeah. in a relationship with him. But when you really read the word and dive into all these wonderful traditions that go back thousands of years, you really get to know the heart of God. And you want to know him more because you, you're, you're falling in love with God more and more and more because you can appreciate all that God's done for you yeah. to redeem you and to save us. It's know? contagious too. Yeah. I'm finding that as I'm reading this book, my son, I'm driving him home from school and he is, he's actually behind the camera right now, which is kind of <laughs> funny, <laughs> but he's asking me questions about the feast and he's really interested in knowing more about it. And, and there's another young fellow that we know that's a, a, just a young man. And, you know, he's starting to talk about the feast and everybody that we know is getting really excited about mm -hmm. this because we're learning things that have been in the Bible for so long, but we've never dug that deep. Yeah. We've never unearthed it. And so we are really excited about this book and we're excited to invite you mm -hmm. to join us on this journey as we um, reveal the beauty of Jesus in each and every one of these feasts. Amen. Thank you. God bless.